Hey yeah, welcome to your favorite cooking channel. Today we're going to look at kukuyam mpata mpata. And I've already done mpata mpata already on this channel with yam. So I'm going to do it with kukuyam. So I'm not going to use the same formula I use with the yam. I'm going to give you more additions to it as to more options to go about it. So another way you could do your mpata mpata is this quick fix mpata mpata styles I'm going to teach you today with kukuyam. You could use the same for the yam. You could use the same I did for the yam for the cocoa yam as well. So let's delve right in. If you've not liked, if you've not subscribed, if you've not shared, please do so right now before you forget. Lots of love. You know we love you and we cherish you. So for this quick fix, you need of course our star ingredient, our cocoa yam, which you could replace with any tuber like your yam potato. Yes. You need some eggs for protein sake. You need some beef to add in the scent and fragrance to it. Some onions, the fresh pepper kick, and then gravy. My gravy was a bit cold. I've taught gravy on this channel, and I told you it's a must-have. So I start off by cooking my cookie, which I've cut beautifully, washed beautifully, and my washed eggs as well, just to keep me some time. I just put in the eggs as well to cook I with it and then I added in my beef and the fresh onions to give it that fresh natural taste. Then I added in my gravy. It's a bit cold so it looks a bit dapper. Yes. So this is going to give you the same taste and a refined result. Yes. So when it cooks for a while, about 10 minutes in, this is high heat. So 10 minutes in, my eggs were cooked. If you're doing low heat, maybe 15, 20 minutes, your eggs should be done. And by then, your lamb should be getting softer. Yes, you need a lot of water around it for it to get softer. So for me, when I take my egg, that's when I add in my palm oil just to give it the beautiful color and, you know, Palm oil is also good for your eyes because of the vitamins in there. And kukuyam, you know, is a healthy carbohydrate. Yes. Now, you know, my gravy already has my tomato, onion, ginger, garlic, pepper, everything. I just added a bit of the fresh onion to give it that fresh onion taste to add to the taste of it. Now, I just needed to just cook. For me, I don't really like to mash it in. I prefer to use enough water. Let it cook for a longer period so that the lamp, some would only get softer and melt into it. So I still get it thick around it without necessarily having to take some out, scoop it, mash it, and then put it back in. So for me, the trick is to cut it into uneven sizes. So the bigger lamps would always remain because it's bigger, it's going to take longer. But the smaller lamps are going to cook early, get softer, and then melt into it beautifully. So, I just allow it to cook and voila, this should take you on a high heat, 15-20 minutes, you're yeah, done. If it's a low heat, maybe 30 minutes and your impure is done with less stress. You could just put this on fire, go and do whatever you want to do. Come and just scoop it and dish it out and eat. Yes. So, I love the Sundays after church, Charlie, when you come back and you just want to enjoy your day a bit. You don't want to do so much cooking in the kitchen. This is a simple quick fix you can do and it's so healthy, so simple. Yes, you need to try this out. You need to do the potom potom. The original way it used to be done. Originally, it used to be done from palm nut soup. So that one, you just have your kukuya, which is nicely cut and washed. Then you add in your palm nut soup. So yes, uh, usually when you have your palm nut soup, then you do a bit... Of it and i said when your palm soup is about finishing and use a bit of it for your potato potato for that one all you need is just your cocoa yam with your palm soup you can lighten it up with a bit of water and a bit of salt and just leave it to boil 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 then it comes to cook now um one thing about potato potato is aside the palm soup those days or what originally you could do is if you do palm nut soup, the oil on top, the fresh oil, which is more spicy and tasty, you just fry in some onion and add in your kukuyam with a bit of salt and cook it. That would also give you some great results. So 
in kind of Japan, or this is how it used to be done locally or traditionally. The only thing for me is when you taste this, you feel a bit more of the palm nut base in it. Uh huh. So that is it. But then it's also tasty and it's also nice. Try this palm nut soup based um, put on butter, or you could just do the quick fix and put on butter, which is a super, super, super time saver for me. So, to see in the next food video, do enjoy like to the fullest, do give us a try. Do send us a feedback on how it goes. Like, subscribe, and share. Lots of love from the team and I. Wow.